this evening, I'd like to welcome you to our event, which is Teach Me Jordan Hill, Celebrating Ada and Paying to the Future. Um, so we have a busy, exciting night ahead, so we may as well just get started. Um, my name is Susan Lovison and I've just finished my final year here in the BA programme and I'm very much looking forward to starting my NQT year in Glasgow City Council, so just waiting to hear my school, the nerves waiting. Um, but I'm also here in a loud capacity, I'm here as the Vice President of the CFD Education Society and we facilitated host of this Teach Me tonight. Um, for traditional Teach Me... Sorry. <laughs> for traditional Teach Me tours, this might be a bit different from usual, but we like to do things different here, for obvious reasons. <laughs> and for people who haven't been here tonight, I hope it's really exciting, informative, and you really enjoy yourself. Um, we recognise the important impact that teachers have, as well as their partners from across the education spectrum, and... Right, we recognise the important impact teachers alongside their partners from the across the education spectrum and we will have facing advancements and challenges in the future, but to truly react to these advancements and changes effectively and to ensure that we are meeting the needs of today's learners in this changing society, um, we really need to learn to collaborate and dialogue with each other and this is one way that we believe is effective in doing this. So we really hope that you will enjoy tonight. Um, as you see the theme of the, <laughs> the theme of tonight was to wait Jordan Hill and unfortunately, in a sad way, this is the final event here at Jordan Hill as many of you might know we're moving campus into Jordan Anderson. Um, so tonight the theme is about reflecting and reminiscing and celebrating Jordan Hill as well as looking to the future. A bit of history, Jordan Hill can trace its origins to 1837 uh, when it was opened by David Stowe which is the Sandstone building at the front. Um, and it was built as the first purpose-built institution in Europe for training teachers. Since then, it's gained a reputation as the place for teacher education. And with our upcoming move to Jordan Hill campus, I have no doubt, and the society have no doubt, that there will be many exciting opportunities there and the reputation should be kept. Um, so before we get started... <coughs> sorry? Okay. Before we get started, there's some housekeeping rules. Um, so, in case there's a fire, <laughs> please stop tweeting and the fire to start at the back, which one's on the side here and one's on the side here. Um, toilets, out the door and turn left, and the ladies' ones are the furthest away ones and the men's ones are the front. And as you probably know, there's refreshments outside that you can have, put yourself to any time and bring them in and enjoy them. Um, also, if you don't want to be recorded by video or any photos, if you let one of us know and we can deal with that, and if you have any food allergies, it's probably a wee bit too late to realise it. We can speak to you and then Catherine. So I'm just going to invite Paul up now. He's going to talk to us about the CPT and Education Society. Right, I'm going to talk very, very quickly. And if you know me well enough, you'll be thinking, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I just want to tell you a bit about the CPD. Can you hear me all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about the CPD and Education Society because it's this society that's hosting the event tonight. In fact, I should say as well, um, I'm Paul Campbell. Um, I've just finished the BED here as well, and I'm about to start probation in North Lanarkshire in August as well. So, excitingly awaiting schools too. Um, the CPD and Education Society, quite simply, is um, a student founded and student led society aimed at facilitating professional development for all students in <coughs> Track Life. Um, that's a simple explanation, and you probably thought I was going to stop there, but I'm not. <laughs> we'll make it more complicated. Um, we started off with the, basically with the idea that we knew that regardless of the amazing quality of the BA programme here, it can cover absolutely every single thing that we might want before we go into our NQT year and beyond. So we thought, right, okay, well, we'll have development needs, we'll have areas of expert or um, areas. Um, within the curriculum or with their own practice that we want to work on. So let's take responsibility for that and work towards them any way we can. So that's how it started. And then what's kind of transpired into is trying to get the wider education community involved as much as we can. So that's something that's really blossomed quite well. And it's nice to reflect back on that to see the involvement we've had with people from across the education spectrum, from practicing teachers to school leaders to education advisors, people from Education Scotland, the General Teaching Council. It's been fantastic to get everybody together because we've learned so much from each other. And it's really benefited in terms of professional development that we're facilitating as a society. And it's really helped in building our network as well um, going into the future. If we go on to the first bit, I'll just tell you a brief bit about where we are here at Strathclyde. If I press it again. 
a lot of things that's working. It basically is comprised of over 100 um, student teachers here at Strathclyde. So it's a typical student society mandated by the Students Association, although we don't do much of what they tell us to do, um, <laughs> deliberately. Um, and it's basically trying to bring together, it can be undergraduate, postgraduate, um, from the PGDE course to Masters and beyond, try and bring all people interested in teacher education together. Um, next, we are we are very reliant on the amazing support that we get from academic staff. Support as in we can go and we can do what we want. But the one thing that we're always told, always by Amanda, is that it better be good. It better be good. And we hope to try and live up to that most times, but that has been an integral part to it. And obviously, as I mentioned before, our partners next are very important to this process because what we see as being effective professional development, well, what we've enjoyed so far throughout the four years is professional development that is peer-led when it's possible, quite informal, has a very good social aspect to it, and offers opportunity for networking across different sectors. And that's echoed in a lot of the research and theory as well, so it goes quite well with that. If we move on to the next one again, there we go. This is kind of how it started, really. If you want to get technical about it, there's things that weren't covered. We might have panicked a little bit. I remember me and Susan panicking at the start, and we wanted to try and find out what we could do. So the whole philosophy is keep calm, and we'll arrange some CPD. But it's not CPD in the traditional sense that people might think it is. It's not just a CPD course. Great, tick that off, list, put it on the CV, that's that done. It's about a commitment to a real process of continuous professional development, reflection and learning. It's about authentic development and reflection. So, yes, we're organising workshops or it could be seminars, whatever, but it's about how it's relevant to our development and our learning and trying to offer opportunities for other students and other members of the education community to take part in that as well. Um, I'll just briefly say one. This is what people have said about the CPD Society and the events we've run in terms of how helpful it's been. Yeah, it enhances your CV, but it's much more than that. It's about having a voice in the education debate. And that's been one, one big part, I think, of it. It's, yes, yeah, about professional development, it's about our skills in the classroom, but it's about developing a more critical <coughs> eye into the wider context of education, also having a say in it. That could be anything from the students here at Strathclyde responding to the General Teaching Council consultations, or some release from the Scottish Government. We want students to have an active voice, and that's what we've managed to achieve this year, which we're really, really happy about. If we just skip on quite a few, actually, it takes what it's said. And the ten minutes late. <laughs> Keep going. Perfect. So, this kind of summarises what we're talking about. It's about professional development, continual professional learning, taking responsibility for our own professional learning and development, and actually acting upon that and doing something about it, with engagement with other stakeholders in education that may be relevant to supporting us with that. But also, one big important part is about <coughs> our own philosophies and our own ideas and how we are having a part in the wider education debate as well because we see that as critical to our well rounded development as new teachers. And yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, that's me. Any questions about the society feel free um, to come and tell us. But this has been a really nice way to, I feel, end our time at Jordan Hill by getting people together, alumni, students as well, staff. It's been a really, it's great to have you all here, it's great to get together. And I'm really looking forward to the presentation as well. I hope you learn as much as I will as well. Um, yeah, and enjoy the night. Any questions, just come and grab me at some point. Thank you. Okay. Right, so we may as well just get started. Um, these are the kind of outlines that we have for today's the events we're going to have. So later on, we're going to have a question time panel with five people from cross sector. Um, we've also, since this is the last Jordan Hill, we're going to have some Jordan Hill memories so we can reminisce and maybe cry a little bit. <laughs> um, obviously, we're going to have the traditional presentations that happen that we sit in a minute or two minutes. Um, outside, you probably saw when you came in, there was exhibitions from various um, BEAD 4s, major projects, BEAD 3s, learning journals. You can have a look at those. As well as chat, that's why we would like to give you a chat to talk about what you learned today, network with one another, and that's why there's so many officials outside you can do it very well. <laughs> And here is outline for the night. So we're already running late, but we're going to try our best to keep this as much as possible because we're aware that people have to get home, maybe by public transport. Um, we are doing things, if you were here last year, you'll remember the Teach Meet booth where you were maybe asked a question or something. Well, Nicholas, <coughs> is, if you could stop by Nicholas to ask a question or 
say something, please do if you can be you may ask you what you think of tonight or a memory that you've had for Jordan Hill. Um, as well as a question box for our question time panel later. If you hear anything you want to sorry, I'm not with you, but that's a different thing. Um, if you've got a question basically anything about education that you want to ask one of our five panelists at the front, if you just pop it in here um, and then we can ask you to say it later on to our um, panel. Right, and I'll just give you a wee minute to read this. This is uh, actually is an American philosopher we found this, which is very fitting for uh, American guests that we've got today. Right, so we hope you enjoyed tonight. And there's a variety of presentations we've got. So I think first of all it's Sarah Garding is going to come up first and talk to us about his eyes and twig.